Why? Look at the size of them. There's like a small missile with a freaking stinger on the end. What is the point of you? I don't understand. Okay. Now, I believe I can inject into the hole. Okay, I need to take the map off first then. Will you take the residence? Yay. You've got the map of the residence. There's a hole in the wall here. F these bees. Oh god. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's not that's not cool. That's not cool at all. Oh. I think they're all dead though. <laughs> Why? Do I still have the insecticide? No, it's gone. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, never gonna say no to hanger magazine. So look, this door is locked. This guy is dead. He was so dead. Like you died the worst death, man. The zombie people like got off light compared to you, sir. You got done in. Oh, 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 Jesus! Just look. Oh, just look at that. <sighs> That's that is freaking hideous. Oh, look at the size of that hive. Why? Why would you? In why would you use the? Why would you use the thing on the bees? What purpose would you have to infect bees with the T virus? You're making something that is already like the world's worst thing, making it worse. Like, there's a lock mechanism. Oh, right. Didn't I write this down? Oh, there's no colours. That's that's unfortunate. I don't remember what goes with what. Hmm. Okay, I'll come back to that in a minute. Uh, oh, I've slow mode. And there's a door at the end as well, which... That's the Plant 42 room, I think. So I don't want to go in there anyway. Ugh. I, could, I mean, those things are killer bees are bad. Imagine those things being wasps. That is like... How to ruin everything ever. There's a typewriter in here. Just in case you need to save it, I suppose. More moths. At least they're not bees. Have I ever told you about the like like how evil bees are? I don't think I have. I told you how evil wasps are, but bees people give like bees people give like you know a free pass. And I've left a book somewhere. Oh, I'm dumb. I need to take the white book. Oh, this is where I need to make the V jolt. I think <clears throat> the similarities in cellular characteristics of the rapidly growing plant infected by the tyrant virus have been reported in previous papers. However, while repeating these experiments, an interesting new fact became clear. We learned the chemical called in the U sorry, we learned the chemical in the UMB family, UMB number twenty, contains a compound that is toxic to the cells of the plant. We have given UMB number twenty a new name, V Jolt. If calculations prove correct, then when V Jolt is applied directly to the root of the plant, the entire plant should be dead within five seconds. The V Jolt can be made simply by mixing the VP and UMB chemicals in a specific ratio. However, extra care must be taken when handling these UMB chemicals. They have not they have been known to generate toxic gases if mishandled. The characters of the UMB chemicals are as follow. UMB number 3 is red, yellow 6 is yellow, UMB 7 green, 10 orange, 17 blue, V-Jolt is dark brown. That's how we can tell you're doing things right. Okay, so I've got to... Uh, I've got to get a book. I don't know if I can do the anything else without doing the book stuff yet. I should have gone and get the book earlier. Not that it massively matters, but... Look suspicion here. It's full of dirty water. Pull out the plug. Obviously. There's something at the bottom there. It, really? Nothing in there at all? I guess I can't do anything in here yet. Oh, there's like, literally nothing in here. Man, what a swizz. Okay, I need to go get the red book then. And slap that in there and make a picture. That way I can start doing the chemical stuff, I think. Just back this way. Back in the room full of dead bees. Oh, bees. oh Jesus. Like, a horror movie, ba a horror film based around bees, or a like, horror game based on bees and, like, ladders, and I'd just be like, no thank you. No thank you, no thank you, no thank you. Oh, there's a red herb here. I shall take that. Might as well, going back to the box after all. Presumably, I'm going to get molested by the plant, unless I can get past it. I think you're going to get molested one way. That's, which is still bad, but not as bad, you know. 
I feel I should still comment on how hideous those, <laughs> those bees are. It's the noise as well, it's the buzzing. Oh, God. Reminds me of the X Files episode with that friggin' fly man I was talking to my friends about recently. It's equally as terrible. I take it I can't go back over this way. If I can, this would be great. But I'm assuming I can't. I don't know, just because of game logic, I guess. No, I can. Okay, that's fine then. Guess I don't get molested at all. Sweet. There's a severe lack of zombies here, which again is nice. It means I can just get on with things without getting annoyed. I assume they realise because you're coming this way so many times you don't really want to have to deal with zombies every single time because it's a pain in the ass, Which is totally okay with me, by the way. The worst thing in the world would be a zombie bee man. Oh god, I just- I couldn't cope. That'd be game off. That would be the end of it. Peace out. GG. Thank you very much for playing. Thank you for watching. The end. Goodbye. No TY, etc, etc. Okay, I want the red book. I don't think I want anything else right now. I think that's everything I need currently. Okay, um, I've taken the book. I am heading back out. Sorry, I forgot to hit record again, because I'm dumb. Okay, so we're heading this way, p past the... Uh, oh, slow motion time, excellent. There's certain angles that seem to affect this, um, which is really, really weird. It, it does happen when I'm not having fraps on as well, but it also does it if I have OBS on, which is interesting. Like, there's, there's something about the way the game handles it, I think, which is really weird. Keep thinking those are bees with the moths. I'm okay with those. I think I'm going to have to go back and watch my previous video to remember the numbers. I've got the symbols written down, but I just need to uh, do the number stuff. So, so you'll have to excuse me a second while I go check the video from yesterday or the day before. There we go. Sorry, you missed it. Uh, can I show you again? Does that work? No, it doesn't. So, uh, it was 365. Um, where the green one thing was three or something. Either way, if you look at the old video, you can see the pool cues, the pool colours, and the numbers. So it all works pretty well. Oh good, I've got to make chemicals, have I? Oh Christ. Let's see if I can remember how to do this. Right, what have I got here? Will you take the empty bottle? Yes. Will you take the empty bottle? No. How many, how many empty bottles around here? I need to do a few at a time. The sink allows you to... F oops. Let's take two at the very least. Okay, I thought we could use the sink and it would give you... Yes. So I need water at least, I know that. I think there's, an, there's a... Here we go. 1 plus 3 equals 4, 4 plus 6 equals 10, 1 plus 6 equals 7, 10 plus 7 equals 17, 17 plus 3 equals 20. Uh, we can, we have to... Water equals 1, red 3, purple 4, yellow 6. You can use this to make the... Um, uh, to make the V jolt. So what I'm gonna do for simply the, to save some time, I do remember this roughly because <laughs> luckily I ha I looked at my GameCube guide and I've got it scribbled in the back. So I'm gonna quickly copy that, <laughs> which is terrible. It's in my instruction booklet. Uh, I don't know if it's 100% correct, but uh, I will just quickly do this off camera because it will take forever of walking around. I do know roughly what it was, but uh... hold on, no, that's that's no fun, is it? Let's do it on camera. Let's do it on camera without the guide. I'm gonna like that's. Like this. Let's do this properly, no cheating. Let's see, let's see what we can come up with. Okay, let's see if I can remember how to do this. Right. So I need 1, pl one plus 3 is 4. Uh, water equals 1, red, 3. So we need... Yes. Okay, and then I can combine that with the water. That gets us 4. Then I need some of this. Yellow 6, take some. Got the yellow 6. Okay, hold on. <laughs> let's see if I can remember. I need to use 4 and 6, I think. 4 and 6 equals 10, yes, so combine that with that. And then I need some more water. Yes, okay. So 1 plus 6 equals 7, so I need to get some more acid, I think. Did I pick that up? No, I need some acid. <laughs> yeah. Probably not the first one to ever say that. Okay, so then we mix, combine that with the water, that gets us the green, and I do 10 with the, uh, that makes 17, I think. Which should be blue. I think that's blue. I'm shit with colours. Then I need to do, I think it was a 3, didn't it? 1 plus 3 equals 17 plus 3 equals 7. So and this is 3, so take some. And then we mix the two. We should have a dark brown colour if I do this right. V-Jolt examine. 
It's a distinctly pretty. Don't shake it. What's all this? Oh, whoa, whoa. Could have been a bit dot. Hey, look at that solid. Look at that rubbish. Okay, so we got the V jolt, which is good. Okay, that's all we need. Uh, I'm pretty sure we can dump the V jolt somewhere. Uh, which is in. We go in here. Somewhere. Yes, there we go. We go in here. And then we dump the V-Jot on the roots, I think. What are the bathtubs for? Hmm, whatever. The roots are some kind of plant that's sticking out of the wall. Use. Really? I thought it was here we use it. Maybe not. I can swarm used in here. Maybe I was mistaken. No, not necessarily use this now, it says. No, maybe not. Okay, my mistake. Cause sworn I used it here. Hmm. Oh wait, I know, I'm being dumb. I'm being super, super dumb. We use the V-Jolt in here. There's a room in the aqua ring, I'm pretty sure, that actually has the, some of the roots in there from the plant. Oh, of course it is, that room we went into, isn't it? Down there, with the with the dudes. It's got to be in there. Okay, cool. Okay, I'm not going mad. Oh, but I need to do some jiggly pokey with the books. Uh, so let's use this. Reorder the books, yes. Here, I take it. Swap. Yeah. Uh, let's see, yes. Got some legs here, so let's move legs down here. Well, oh, nudity, excellent. Doink. A secret door is opened. Da, 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 da. And that leads into the room we need to go, which I do not want to do now. Okay, um, I think we're all good up for next set. What I need to do then, I need to dump this V-Jolt onto the roots. I think it's down in the aqua ring then. I was just being a bit dim. So, we can use the V-Jolt. We can then uh, go and fight the plant boss. Finally getting rid of all these damn tentacles everywhere, and no doubt giving us some sort of card key or some bullshit that we need for somewhere else, like the mansion. And then we're all ready to go. Probably like the world's slowest man, but never mind. For some reason I remember the V-Jolt puzzle being more difficult than that, but... I don't know, I did play this last when I was like 12, so who knows. Could be imagining things. Either way, I'm just gonna stop, stop the recording here and jump off camera. Um, go save the game. So thank you very much for watching. I really do hope you've enjoyed the set. And uh, next time we get to savage a giant plant monster. Who doesn't like savaging a giant plant monster? It's kind of, it's kind of a rhetorical question, really. It's just fun to use, isn't it? Anyway, guys, thank you very much. And until next time, bye now.